So welcome back family. We're here with another grading reveal from PSA. This one again featuring Topps Chrome Marvel. Great set that came out uh, a little over a month ago now. So as I said in my previous post, I had multiple submissions. This is my second 25 card submission of this set. Um, this one I did not get upcharged, so I didn't this is going to be actually truly a blind reveal for us. So let's go ahead and get started. And again, if you like content like this, please let me know by hitting like and subscribe. Now, again, this being my second um, submission of this set, uh, as opposed to the first one, I noted there was a few cards that came back with the N6 uh, with the size requirements. I did not get any of those um, stipulations for this submission so we should be good to go with all 25 cards being graded and meeting all the requirements for that so let's hopefully we can uh i doubt we're gonna get the same results uh those were pretty special in terms of um pretty much gemming almost every single card in our submission last time but hopefully we'll get a little bit closer to what we've been uh, normally seeing. I, I have seen that the gem rates have crept back up towards like the 50% range. So if we can get close to that, I'd be happy with that. Uh, I think with our previous submissions, we've been roughly um, getting around like two thirds. So um, again, fine with that, but again, happy with just 50%. So let's go ahead and get started with our first submission. Now again, this is purely blind reveal. Did not get any preview of the, uh, you know, fees with this since I just paid, there was no upcharging. So, and for, I submitted a lot of these cards. Again, all these are gonna be graded um, serial cards. So uh, I'm not sure which parallels we may be looking at so well we'll be both surprised as we go through this so here we go starting off with a spider ham and i want to make sure you all can see this fairly clearly so spider ham here love this artwork and we have a blue wave and a gem mint 10 so very good to see uh, i think this may be the second blue wave we've gotten um of spidey spidey ham but also gem there, so good to see that. Love Spidey Ham, love the art. Again, this is the pseudo color match that I think I mentioned before on the wave. So here we go, off to a good start. Starting with a gem, another Spidey Ham here. And this one is a purple. This one only got a nine though, so we are getting, again, as I figured, probably gonna get more nines out of the submissions. Um, I think the last one was a little bit more of a extraordinary circumstance. But here we go. Purple, 75 of Spidey Ham. And I'll take a nine. There we go. So one for one. Magneto here. Very popular. And this one, the green also gets a nine on the Magneto. Green refractor to 99. Nines and nines. All right, moving right along. Here we have Rogue. And gold and a gem mint 10. So back on the gem streak here. Good to see this, on, especially on the gold. I will say gold or better is typically what you're, you're looking for when you're uh, chasing a character. You want to at least get to this gold. And we did great rogue gold in a gem mint 10. All right, so 50-50. All right, so far we're playing to our usual right there. Here's Nightcrawler. And this last of this box. And a nine on the orange refractor here. So orange the 25 on a nine for the elf, so to speak, as Logan would always refer to him as. There we go. All right, so far three nines, two gems, and our first, and let's get to the bulk of the rest of our cards here. Don't think I have a whole lot of my uh, Cyclops PC 
in the uh, the submission. Um, I do think don't think I have any other um, short print inserts as well. Those I think were mostly featured in the um, first submission that we saw. And I do have one autograph card though that I'm pretty sure is part of this submission. Another character autograph. And I do, there's one very big card as a part of this submission that I will hope to save for last. Because, again, most of these are probably going to be in the, um, again, all of these are going to be numbered. Uh, most of them are going to be golds or what you've seen already. Um, I do have one black, I believe, in this submission. So let's continue with the other 20 cards of this submission. And now we have Mystique. Raven. Gem Mint 10 on the green refractor to 99. So Mystique and the adopted daughter Rogue both gemming out, which is always good to see. All right, one of our first firsts. Lyle Foley, very popular in the uh, Moon Knight series featuring Oscar Isaac. This, I believe, is a gold wave, and it is on a gem mint 10. So there we go. A couple gems here for us, which is always good to see, especially on a gold or better. There we go. You can see the first right there. First appearance on a uh, tops card. Or uh, maybe even any type of card. Fairly new character. So there you go. And here's that autograph that I was talking about. This one of Daredevil. On the autograph card. Don't ask me how he was able to sign it being blind. But still a very nice card. Especially when it's in a gem mint 10. As you see here. 10 on the purple refractor auto to 75 Again, the character of the autos are always nice for these facsimiles using the uh the d's as the logo here you go now here's one that we'll save for last because that's the biggest card in this so i definitely want to save that for last on to emma the lovely miss frost and this one is a Human Torch, and this one's a Gem Mint 10. So very good to see that. Again, gold or better, especially with these uh, themed Marvel parallels, this one being the Human Torch. Hot card for a hot woman. There you go. All right, now this is on my PC. I think the only one, eh, I guess I have a couple in here. So here's a Cyclops. My, again, my personal collection of this one. This one's the green ray wave, and this one's a gem mint 10. So far, gemming out all my Cyclops PC submissions. Obviously, the Super Fractor that was in the last one, big feature of that. But again, these green ray waves. This one actually, I don't think I actually hit this one in the break. I actually purchased this one off of eBay. So. Um, oh, that always can be hit or miss, but again, with these cards, generally they're going to be hit because they're just such a good quality. The corners and the edges are always going to be top-notch. It's just more or less the surface issues. Um, and I guess I submitted more Cyclops than I thought here, because so, here's another Cyclops for me. This one's a green, and then another Gem Mint 10. There we go. So we got the true green and the green wave, wave both getting... Gem Mint 10s for my personal collection, both of them being green, it's numbered to 99. So, ha very happy with that. If all else, that's probably going to keep me the happiest for all these uh, Gem Mint Cyclopses. Here's another one for my personal collection. It looks like I have a big run of them right here. Here's the purple, here's a 9. So, so far the purples are uh, not doing so hot compared to at least some of the other ones because I believe we had another one, the spider ham that was also a nine. So here's a purple. The 75 on the mint nine for my Cyclops. So we'll see if I decide to try to upgrade that down the road if a gem mint comes out in there. 
All right, this may be the last one. I think this is the highest numbered in terms of parallel of the web refractor. Nope, this is a gold wave. And we're back to that gem mint 10. Love to see that. Um, I actually have, I think, th <laughs> be uh, this is the parallel, actually, I think I hit the most in breaks is the gold wave, which I'm not complaining about. So I think I have one. I did notice the other one um, that I already have had a decent print line going across um, that, which I kind of kind of see that there. So it may just actually be the design, but um, that one I probably won't be submitting to PSA. That one I likely be submitting to CGC uh, when I have, whenever I do that submission, and I have another one that I just hit that's on the way to me. So. I already have my 10 out of the way though. The other is I'll figure out what I want to do. So there's that on the good gold wave. So, so far again, doing pretty well of uh, gems comparatively to others. Here's a Luke Cage. And this one's an orange and then again, another orange on the nine. So these uh, true oranges and, and purples are not doing as well as some of the other parallels here. So there we go. Luke on the orange, similar to the Nightcrawler, only getting a nine on that one. Speaking of Nightcrawler, here's our second Nightcrawler hit. This one's a green ray wave, and this one also got a nine though. So the elf, not grading as well as some of the others. But that's all right. Moving right along, we have a human torch, which obviously he has his own parallel. So if he can get that in his garden in that parallel, it's uh, highly sought after. And this one though is a gold wave. And as with other gold waves, this one also get a gem mint 10. So we're doing really well on these uh, gold wave parallels. So far they've been gemming out fairly easily for us. So there we go. Johnny on a gold wave and a gem mint 10. Here's Storm, which I believe if the other um, cards of this parallel are in an indication of likely nine, because I believe this is an orange. This one actually got an eight. So these oranges are uh, grading fairly tough on this one. So our first eight of the bunch on the storm. Hmm. So there's that one, our first eight. So far, I think we're right about 50, 50 uh, gems slight lead. Here's our daredevil. Again, we had a gem mint on the purple auto. This one's the base card on the blue wave. And this one got a gem mint 10. So back on the gem for Matt Murdock on the blue wave. All right, very popular Moon Knight. We saw Layla on the gold wave gem. Uh, trying to remember what this color is, if any indication, this might only be a nine because it's a purple and I was right. So seeing a little bit of a theme, the purples and the uh, oranges are getting a little bit tougher comparatively to the, the waves. But they're, love this artwork, Purple Moon Knight. So I'll still take that in a nine. Here we go, Rocket. Fun art. I don't think I featured him in my Instagram post of art, but still very fun art with Rocket. And on the purple, and again on the nine. So there you go. Again, seeing a little bit of a theme that will be interesting to see if I break down the um, pop report for Tops Chrome is if this is the kind of the the running theme of these kind of true colors, so to speak. Although we did gem the true gold, but some of these true colors on the orange and the purple not doing as well as some of the others. 
All right, here we have Widow, lovely Natasha. This one is a torch, I believe, and it is, and then also Chapman 10, similar to the other torch of Emma that we got. So very good to see that. These human torches numbered to 39, which if I'm not mistaken is the first year of top of uh, Marvel. 1939, hence that numbering. So there you go. And I like to see um, when they do something specific to the IP for either the parallels or the numbering. So you'll see in a few weeks, actually, um, Marvel Masterpieces 92 is coming back out in platinum form. And the, uh, if I saw correctly, the seismic goals are number 292 to honor that set when it came out. So that's always good. Again, love that set, so I'll definitely be hitting that fairly hard. On to Iron Fist. Well, Danny Rand on this one. I believe this is a green. It's a green ray wave and another gem at 10. Nice little color match. And as you've seen in my post, one of my favorite arts base arts in the set of Iron Fist. I think Kevin Lau was the artist on this card. There we go. Moving right around, we have three more. And two of them are fairly big, so let's get Loki out of the way. I believe this is just a blue wave. It is, and this only got a seven. So our first seven out of here on the blue wave. Now I will say um, what I've seen with some of these lower grading cards, um, you may not see in the front, but on the back there will be either dings or print lines or something like that that will um, kind of lower the, the grade of these cards. So there we go. Our first seven on a blue wave of Loki. That's interesting. All right, and our probably two biggest cards here. Here we have a Ghost Rider. And this Ghost Rider is a true gold, if I'm not mistaken. It is, but this one only got a mint nine, which I kind of knew it would be um, with the centering itself. You can see it's definitely leaning to the right on the centering with this. Ghost Rider Gold. All right, so last one. I think we're already gonna win the battle, regardless of, yeah, regardless of what this is. Again, right up 50%, which is what the standard is um, going through, but here we have a Gambit. Like I said before, this is gonna be our high, um, lowest number card. This is a Black Wave to 10. So definitely the biggest card in my submission of uh, this one. And this one only gets a nine though. So a nine on a black wave gambit. You can see there, the seven to 10. That's still a very lovely card. So there we go. Overall, it's all right. Again, um, kind of what I was expecting a little bit more so as you see, we submitted 25 cards, a little bit over half, so the 13 actually gemmed. We did get one seven and one eight, um, and a handful of the nines. So nines are great. Again, take that any day. Um, the gems, love the gems, especially for all, um, handful of my personal um, Cyclops cards are really good. Plus the auto itself of Daredevil it was good to see that gem out. So there you go. So again, back to the little bit, reverting back to the mean of grading here. We have two more submissions um, on deck, uh, two 20 card submissions actually. So one is further, fairly for, further along in the process. I think it's in grading about to hit assembly. The other one actually just got to PSA. So that may take a little bit while. Um, but till then we'll do that and you'll see some more um, content. Regarding the new uh, 
Masterpieces 92 set that's coming out in a few weeks. So hopefully you'll uh, join me as I explore that uh, in the Marvel space. Hope you like this content. And please let me know if you did by hitting like and subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for stopping by.